let's get started hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome today this video is going to be all about health So we're going to be talking about hypothyroidism today in case you guys are not familiar with this illness i'm going to be talking about everything you know in this video i'm going to be talking about what this thing is all about what is it going to do to your body and uh, how you are going to deal with it or what are the side effects you know using certain medications and how i deal with it on a regular basis because this thing can be a lifelong problem you know like you you might have this thing for the rest of your life in case you guys are not familiar what hypothyroidism is it is an autoimmune disorder it is when your um, cells when your immune cells attack your body your hormones are not delivering um, cells properly to your body I'm sorry for my broken English I will try my best to explain things as much as I can <laughs> I'm not an English speaker but I will try to get the message out there for you guys so anyway moving on it can happen to anyone it can happen to a young person it can happen to old person it can happen to female it can happen to male it does not matter and by the way thyroid is a little uh, organ in your throat that looks like a butterfly and uh, that's the organ that produces a certain hormones to your body when you have this problem that's so funny guys it's so hard to uh, detect this problem you know because it just looks like a normal thing you know you just feel tired you start to gain weight you may have a irregular uh, period if you're a female and uh, yeah it is, it is really hard to notice you know because it just feels like a normal thing you know that you experience once in a while but uh, the way I detected the way I found this problem when I started Seeing that I was having patches in my scalp I was losing hair I was like wait a minute I never had a problem with my hair before in my genetics we don't have a hair problem you know like even in my dad's side or my mom's side they are really good like you know with hair <laughs> I went to the doctor and uh, we did a blood test and uh, by the way my very first suggestion is that in case you're experiencing like tiredness you know that you're always exhausted it just feels like you know like no matter what you do you're always tired or it just feels like you know you're you're starting to have a irregular period like if you never had a irregular period before and you're starting to gain weight easy go get a blood test because you never know what may be going on in your inside of your body once a doctor did the, a blood test they uh, found out that I do have a hypothyroidism. My doctor recommended um, a medication that's called the levothyroxine. This is the medication that I take. Let's talk about this, guys. I went to a doctor with my concern of a hair loss, right? And then he put me on a medication and uh, my concern has worsened, meaning that my hair loss started to get worse i started losing incredible amount of hair once i started taking this medication and i was like hey my problem was my hair loss why this medication is making it worse and that's so funny with the hair loss guys uh, it's not in one area i did see the main hair loss or i would say major hair loss in my crown right here but the hair loss is very diffused like you lose you start to lose hair like on the sides of your forehead right here and in the back of your hair you start to lose hair everywhere so if you're noticing that problem as well then this probably is the thyroid problem when i start taking medication my hair loss worsened about two months i guess two to three months and uh, now i'm noticing that my hair loss is getting better and better like when i go to the shower and wash my hair i don't see that much hair um in the 
you know bathroom train so which is amazing and when i brush my hair i don't see that much hair loss as well so the hair loss problem is getting better and i'm actually noticing that the, the baby hairs are slowly coming out of the areas you know where i lost the most hairs just to give you guys an idea uh, when my hair started shedding really bad like this is this is the amount of hair i was losing every single time i was washing my hair and it is ridiculous like it was such an alarming uh, amount i think there's about like how much like 200 or 300 um hairs and uh, so anyway i took a picture of this and i sent it to a doctor and also to a dermatologist by the way and then they said that um this will happen and this is a normal thing but you are supposed to see the um you know your problem getting better like after several months i feel like my body slowly got used to the medication and uh, i do take this medication every single day in the morning as soon as i wake up you have to take this medication in the morning as soon as you wake up for an empty stomach i think if you miss a day that's fine but if you're not supposed to miss a second day or you're not supposed to double up the dosage as well so you have to be very specific with this medication now let's talk about the food and diet like what are you supposed to consume more or what are you supposed to avoid again dairy is the number one thing that you're supposed to avoid uh, once you take the medication in the morning so don't drink milk or anything that has a dairy in it um, after your medication wait about like three to four hours and then you're able to consume i think dairy has a um, something that's going to block the absorption of your medication to your body and the same with the anti-acids so once you take this medication, they actually, you know, give you a paper where it's going to explain, okay, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, you know, you're all good to go. The cabbage family, you're supposed to steam them before eating them. So what I heard is that the, your, your body will have a hard time absorbing, or I would say digesting those foods, like the cabbage family, including broccoli, um, you know, uh, lettuce, peanut butter is also another thing that you're supposed to avoid when you take this medication. You are able to eat it again after four, maybe like five hours, just in a small amount. And now let's talk about the weight gain, guys. I'm not sure if you have been following me for a while. I'm not sure if you can see or not. I f I look like I have gained weight, and uh, this is me working out four to five days a week and i don't look like i'm working out four to five days a week you will have a you know limited amount of energy and i would recommend you guys to dedicate you know certain amount of it to exercise to get more energy from this it's hard to manage the you know weight level so if you gain weight it's you start to gain weight even more do some sort of exercise every single day go walk around or um, you know get some movement to your body you know lose some calories and obviously you have to eat um, healthy on top of it this truly affects your lifestyle because once you have this problem like it's it's it can be a lifelong you know because when i contacted my doctor about this and I asked, hey, like, okay, how long, how long am I gonna take this medication? You know, I don't want to be on this forever. But then my doctor was like, hey, there's a chance that you might take this for the rest of your life. But we will try our best to like wean me off from this medication. It really depends on how your body um, recovers itself from all of these things. So now you might have a question like what really causes this thyroid problem or i would say hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism um there is no definite answer it can be anything from what i heard this stress is the main cause of a hypothyroidism or thyroid problem in general so if you do have a low level of stress something that you don't notice on a regular basis but your subconscious mind is in a stress mode you know um you're bothered with something you know like you might not feel it it really depends how your body is feeling at a certain conditions at a certain uh, situations it really is all about you know digging deep within yourself and then finding out the answer what is it that's really bothering you you know what is it that's really affecting you so if there is something that you know then it's best 
to change it because uh, stress is the main cause of uh, you know so many illnesses and you never know what it's going to lead you to avoid stress as much as possible you know don't be too harsh on yourself if you do have this condition you know just take it easy you know you don't have to uh, like uh, beat yourself up if you if you're not able to uh, accomplish certain thing you know just take it easy take it slow hold yourself accountable to uh, you know take care of your body to maintain uh, your weight and then to make you feel yourself better to make yourself feel better <laughs> so yeah because there's no one out there who's gonna come and help you if you if you do have this problem it's only you who's going to help this problem so obviously being consistent with your um, treatment and uh, being consistent with what you do to maintain your healthy lifestyle so anyway guys this completes my video i really hope you guys have enjoyed the video and found it useful this is literally my uh, main goal and purpose on my channel is to be useful you know i want you to take something out of my videos whether it's a beauty whether it's skincare whether it's a lifestyle inspiration or any or videos like this hopefully you know my videos are giving you something useful to use it in your own favor any feedback that you could leave in the comment section please do so so others can benefit from your feedback and uh, so that way we learn you know from each other and then we help each other as well and uh, yes i'm going to see you in the next one have a great day guys wishing you the best of luck bye everyone <laughs>